Saudi Arabia's King Salman has urged the international community to halt Iran's nuclear program and reiterated the kingdom's support for efforts to end the war in Yemen. Well, the king's remarks to the Shura Council were his first public comments since the murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi last month, which marked a global outcry. King Salman uh, making no direct mention of the crisis, but praising the judici judiciary's handling of the situation. Well, to bring us more on this, our international affairs commentator Douglas Herbert joins me in the studio. Doug, no explicit mention of the Khashoggi affair there. No, uh, this was an address to what's called the Shura Council. It's sort of a consultative council. Uh, if you were expecting the ailing king to make any sort of groundbreaking or revelatory comments uh, about either the crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, or the Khashoggi uh, murder, uh, you would have come away sor sorely disappointed. He managed to talk about just about everything else but that. So anyone listening would have been checking off a long list. He talked about calling on the international community to put an end, as he called it, to Iran's uh, uh, nuclear and uh, ballistic missile program. Uh, he said that the Palestinian cause was a priority for him. He said the kingdom supported the UN's efforts to end the war in Yemen. And yes, he did mention the crown prince, but not in any way, shape, or form having to do with the Khashoggi affair. He called on the crown prince to focus on developing human resources and preparing the youth of Saudi Arabia for jobs of the future, sort of an allusion to the so-called uh, Vision 2030 program, uh, which we haven't been talking about much lately because uh, something called the Khashoggi murder has really taken precedence. But no, uh, the king did not make any mention of the affair, and it comes at a moment, obviously, when from all sides, if the walls aren't necessarily closing in, there's a lot of more and more damning circumstantial evidence pointing to, uh, to the crown prince's implication and, and perhaps direct involvement in the planning uh, and execution of this murder. Well, when it comes to that, Doug, let's stay with that, because regional observers and the CIA say the evidence is pretty damning. Officially, though, the U.S. says there's no smoking gun. Yeah, and first, let's be very clear. The CIA hasn't publicly said anything about its findings. The Washington Post in the U.S. Um, had a report uh, over the weekend in which it basically said the CIA had concluded, based on several phone call intercepts, uh, that the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, had ordered, uh, had ordered the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, essentially. They spoke about one, uh, a phone call from uh, uh, the Crown Prince's brother in Washington. He was the former ambassador, uh, Saudi ambassador to Washington, basically having called Khashoggi, allegedly, calling Khashoggi at the behest of his brother, the Crown Prince, in order to encourage him to come to the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. And then there was another intercepted call uh, that the CIA allegedly heard, listened to, uh, in which you basically hear a member of the kill team, the team that was in the consulate on the day that Khashoggi disappeared and was killed. Uh, basically speaking to one of his superiors, uh, saying, tell your bo boss, someone this is in the inner circle of the Crown Prince, tell your bo boss that the mission has been accomplished. You have a lot of pressure right now from these uh, reports now building on both sides of Congress, among Democrats and Republicans, to hold the Crown Prince to account, because more and more people are saying, uh, while there isn't any absolute evidence yet, and the State Department has been very clear that it has not made any final conclusions, um, it's awaiting the outcome of a report now being prepared prepared officially by the intelligence community, uh, more and more people are finding it hard not to believe that the Crown Prince uh, wasn't involved in this because nothing of this nature can go off without the, the approval of the highest authorities in Saudi Arabia. It's just that's the way the culture works there. Okay, Doug, our international affairs editor, thank you.